What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sydney. We're back with another video today. Today I am going to be taking you on a journey with me through what it's like to work night shift at the hospital. I am a tech at the hospital near me and basically that just means I'm a CNA and I work night shift on a ICU and progressive care unit. So yeah, we're gonna get started. I have on my script set and I usually listen to the read before I go to work. So I also have my edge scarf on because edge is laid. So I'm gonna go get my snacks together for work and get my bag together and I'll show you guys what I have in my bag when I go to work. It's really not much, but a few essentials for What's up guys, I'm in the parking lot at work and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I keep in my bag. Um, I use a backpack for work. I just have my water here with my lemon in it and I have an umbrella. I always keep an umbrella in my bag just in case. Have my badge. And once we get onto the smaller front pocket, I keep a bag of feminine products because you never really know. Um, ladies, you understand where I'm coming from. I also keep a phone charger. For slow nights, I tend to get on my phone and watch YouTube or something. Um, sometimes I study on my phone when I am actively in class. So it's always good to have a phone charger on hand. I keep a little bit of lotion. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Um, just because hand washing so much, you get a little ashy sometimes. I have a deodorant because there are nights where you get a little sweaty under all that PPE. And I also keep a chapstick. Excuse me. This is just a backup chapstick for if something happens to the one that I keep in my pocket. And the last thing I keep are my glasses, my blue light glasses. This is a soft bag and it has the cleansing cloth inside of it. I just keep them in the front pocket of my bag because they're one of the first things I put on when I get here. And once we get onto the bigger portion of my bag, I have my lunch bag, which really just has like snacks because I don't usually eat after 8 p.m. Um, I have my jacket, just plain black jacket. It's waterproof in case of a day where it is raining. And I have a book to read today. I'm reading Little Fires Everywhere. I watched the series and it made me want to read the book because I usually like the books better. So I have a book. I have my planner. I always bring my planner to work. So when we're planning out the next set of schedules, I can reference this, I can reference my school schedule and just have everything all in one place. If I don't have this with me, I just use my Google Calendar app on my phone, but nine times out of 10, I have my planner. And lastly, I have my pins. I am one of those people who has to have everything in a different color so that I just know like, okay, school's in teal, works in red. Um, filming for YouTube is in black. Bills are in green, stuff like that. So. I always have my pins with me and that's basically it for my bag um, if you want an in-depth version of what's in my bag for school I can give you that because that is a little bit different since I'm in nursing school we have to have more stuff than I need for work so once we get to work we have to have our temperature check and then we can go up to your floor so I look completely different now when we get to work we change into surgical scrubs shoe covers, a little bonnet, and I have to wear another mask under this mask when I go in patient rooms. And this is just all for self-protection. Tonight I'm working with my friend Jess. Ah, it's Jess. And we're on the COVID floor tonight. <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, it's real! It's getting real! Woo! So since I have a little bit of downtime right now, I'm going up to my floor just to say hey to my people. And that's pretty much it. 
I actually had a lot of downtime tonight. The way I would usually have patience is I'd have 10, and the other person that does my job would have 10. But tonight it's two and two because we're on the COVID floor and putting on PPE and taking off PPE and all that. So it's really just to help us save time. So I've kind of been in the stairwell part of it tonight. Um, right now I'm just running to grab some forks because we ran out of forks on the floor. And since it's Nurses Appreciation Week, somebody decided to give us free out back. So we got food to eat. <clears throat> so one thing we have to do before we go into anything else is put on our PPE, which is the Person Protective Equipment. So you guys won't see me doing that, but we're driving in any way. We're gonna have to put on and take off our PPE, so that includes a gown. And we are N95 under these nails, going on a face shield, and your gloves, of course. So I'll insert a picture here of what all of that looks like so you guys can just, you know, get understanding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Lord, am I going to have any of this? Because my hip is all jacked up. Stop. Now that I know that. Okay, so it is now 5.20 a.m. Um, pretty much done with most of my duties for the night. All vitals have been done because we do them every four hours. Patient needs have been met. Batteries and monitors have been changed. Trash, everything that needs to be done has been done. Charting, everything. So right now I'm just gonna kind of chill out and if anybody calls me um, or one of the nurses need me to help them or something, then I'll do that. But it's pretty much chill time until shift change, which starts at about 6.50. So it is now 7 a.m. I'm on my way back to my floor to change into my own scrubs and go home. Okay, so I'm back. I'm in my personal scrubs now and I'm headed home to shower and go to bed. It is about 7.10. Um, so I'm actually leaving a little bit earlier tonight, but I'm excited to go to bed. Okay, so I'm back in my car right now. Um, just finished my 12 hour shift. I look a little crazy because, you know, wearing the bonnet for the whole night can do that. And then taking masks on and off all night, PPE on and off all night. It just, we're not here to be cute, okay? I am about to go home and shower, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, last night I was working on the COVID floor. I'm pretty sure you all know what that is by now. Um, I usually work on ICU and progressive care unit, which I love it. Um, I just like constantly having something to do on my floor. Um, last night was very chill compared to my floor. I had two patients compared to my usual 10. And that's just because we have to put on the PPE, take off the PPE. All that takes a lot of time cleaning everything between rooms. It just takes a lot of time. So that was the difference in the patient split. Usually it'll be five if we're full each for people in my position. But since we weren't full, it was split two and two. And it wasn't bad. Um, I had a lot of fun with the people I worked with last night. Anytime I work with them, I know it's gonna be a good time. And yeah, so if you want some info about working in ICU, working night shift, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell and come back for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>